All right, now we're gonna tessellate a hexagon. Hexagons are a little tougher because you can't really use a paper cutter to cut out hexagons very easily. So I have a little trick, and we're gonna be using the technique called translation to do these. But what I do is I print out a page of hexagons on copy paper, and then you put some oak tag, you can use you know folders or whatever, and put that behind it. I actually put into my uh, paper the word staple a few times. So I have my students staple that and then go ahead and cut them out with a scissor and then you get perfect hexagons. When you try and use a paper cutter to cut them out, they're a little bit off and then the design won't work. These need to be very exact. So for tessellating a hexagon, we use the translation method. So you're gonna go from one corner to an adjacent corner and cut out a line um, it can be, you know, it has to have a little bit of attitude to it. It can't be overly complicated and shouldn't be overly simple. So go ahead and cut out a line. <clears throat> Again, don't worry if you're not perfect about cutting on the line. Uh, the main thing is to make sure you're connecting the corners. line it up and I bring it across and then I go ahead and tape that in place making sure that there's no gaps. Okay, now I can go to another corner. Technically this could be part of my cut line. I need to make sure that I end somewhere over here. So I could cut a little sliver over here but that doesn't really make sense. I could somehow use this edge just making sure that I finish in that end corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Before I translate it, I go ahead and line it up, make sure I'm in the right direction. Got it all lined up, and I bring it straight across the piece. So it was here, I bring it across here. Add a little piece of tape. Make sure again, no gaps. If it's too big, make sure you fold over any little corners or cut them off because that will uh, make things difficult later. Last, I've got this corner. So again, I could cut anywhere along this cut line until I hit this corner. Um, I believe you could go from cut edge to cut edge and just translate that over. That should work, but I'm not going to chance it here. So I'm going to go ahead and make a more elaborate shape over here. it fits in and I bring it straight across and then I go ahead and tape that into place making sure there's no gaps or overlaps okay and now I have a six-sided um, hexagon tessellation